Hey guys! Sorry, the tank is a little bit cloudy because I'm feeding them and I had the brilliant idea to make a video at the same time. Um, so, as you might have noticed in my last video about uh, my, uh, my fry, my um, electric blue acaras, I had to set uh, the tank just for the, the fry and I put all of my um, beta fish in with my disc is because it's one of my biggest tanks with the calmest fish and so I just wanted to update you how uh, my betas are doing in this tank so hopefully I can catch good shots of them uh, they're a little bit everywhere uh, honestly there has been zero problems with all the other fish in here actually we'll have a glimpse at one of my most precious giant betas it's a beautiful beta I think from Vietnam directly imported I got him uh, about two months ago I wish he could like show off his fins now that I got him on camera but it's always like that you want to show them at their best and they don't do it when there's a camera so I hope you can see his potential he's really really pretty and here here we have discus like <laughs> all over the place um, I'll try to find you more betas that's his brother also import from Vietnam as you can see no shredded fins no nothing like they're doing amazing in here and they're not fighting whatsoever it's really really amazing and the females are mostly in the vegetation bed up top yes I have a few gouramis temporarily in here um, my friend dumped them again on me so hallelujah to that thank you so much how and um, yeah always when you're trying to film they go in hiding oh uh, there we, we got another male they love chilling that vegetation on top Oh, by the way, my super giant beta that I got, and I made a video about the biggest beta ever. I don't know what the heck happened, but all of a sudden, he swelled up, he had dropsy, and he died within 24 hours. And, like, I couldn't even, like, medicate him or anything. He just swelled up and died. It was really, really strange, so I got really, really sad about it. But it is what it is, you know, like you can't you can't save them all, you know, as much as you can love them. Especially I have so many fish here that <laughs> there's more probabilities of me losing fish than someone with two goldfish in their tank. So it's just nature. I don't know how old he was. He was also like a mistaken shipment uh, to the supplier. So who knows? Maybe maybe he was old, maybe he was young, maybe yeah, who knows what he died of. Um, here we have another male. I'm trying to give you the best shots I can, but it's it's not easy. But yeah, they're doing so well in here. I'm actually surprised. I took like a wild guess, like to put them in here with the discus. I like listen. It's my my only calm tank. I can put them in because uh, both my quarantines were taken by clients to uh, fish, so I decided to put them with my discus and um, hey it worked out the first few days they were actually a little bit off put by the current in this tank I hope you can see what I'm trying to film um, sorry I'm moving a lot I'll try to zoom in on other things um, so yeah the first few days they were like whoa there's current in here and believe it or not they actually grown to like the current and their bodies got thicker like they got more muscular to uh, fight off the current so it's very very interesting to to see betas um, under certain conditions you know so I consider that a success it's not the first time I put betas in uh, a community tank but it's the first time I put this many of them like you see another male females and no one's fighting like it's really really nice like they're flashing but like they've been their most peaceful in this tank so far so i really truly consider that a success so i'll just show you how the discus are doing yes the discus are doing all fine uh i've actually added some uh air air bubbles and i noticed uh because my tank is overstocked let's not lie to each other so i added some air bubbles and it made a great difference like they absolutely love the extra air so yeah, and while we're here, I might as well show you. Oh, never mind. The tank lights had turned off. So I wanted to update you on the baby acaras, but they're doing well. They're growing slowly. So it is what it is. 
So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.